Hello there everyone, today I'm going to tie a caddis fly. This is going to be a fairly realistic caddis fly and, and we're going to use some uh, some foam and uh, some CDC and uh, well that's basically it. Okay, um, we start off by well actually taking the fly right out, the, out of the vise again and then pulling it through the foam. Like so. Now you have the foam coming out, uh, you have the hook coming out and at the middle of the foam. And this we're going to use to create the body of this fly. Making a sound base of thread all the way down here to where I want this uh, this body of, of, the, of this caddis fly to start. That will be right around there. I'm tying this a bit down into the bend of the hook. Then I'm taking the foam all the way up to my thread and then I'm making some cross turns, making them fairly loose until I actually decide to pull it down. Then I'm doing the same the other way around, making a cross turn to make sure that both sides of this foam is, uh, is tied down thoroughly. Then I'm moving a bit up along the hook shank, turning the foam over, and then tying them down, like so. This will give uh, the fly, um, this cat is pattern, uh, 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 a, a body that is segmented, like so doing exactly the same one more time, a bit further up the shank. And as you can see, because this is made from foam, this will fly, uh, float very, 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 very great. Continuing to doing this, making the segmented body made from, from foam to ensure a very high floatability. Doing this one last time here. Then I'm going to do something that might look a bit strange. I'm going to turn this over so that one part of the foam will be up here and the other will be on the underside. I'm going to cut off the top one and then I'm going to pull the lower one backward like this. applying some uh, some amount of thread to make sure that it stays pointing backwards. Then I'm taking some uh, a couple of CDC feathers. I'm using uh, uh, some CDC feathers in the color natural brown, which is uh, is fairly nice for uh, for this pattern. Tying them down as, as the wing of the fly, so they, I want them to be roughly the same length as, uh, as the body. Like that. Cutting this off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small dubbing loop. That comes out exactly the same place where the wing starts. I'm taking another couple of CDC feathers and just stripping them because I want uh, the CDC uh, feather fibers to be uh, to be the dubbing I need for this. If you have some CDC dubbing, you can use that as well. That would save some time, I think. <laughs> Of course, you can take it. It's easier if you take the longest of these, uh, the biggest of these CDC feathers to make this dubbing. Now I think I have what I need here. I'm 
taking this CDC in here. If you have a Mark Petitchang magic tool, then definitely now is the time to use it. I just couldn't find mine this morning. So, there was my dubbing reel. Twisting it, a dubbing twister, spinning this around. So you see, you get kind of like a very fluffy dubbing made from uh, from CDC. I need to take my uh, my thread a bit further up the hook shank, around there, around. So you have a couple of millimeters uh, free spare room. And then I'm turning this mayhem. That one there is a bit too big. So. Keep everything pointed backwards so that everything is under control. Like that, fastening the uh, the dubbing loop. And what I do is I take this foam and pull it before tying it down, like that. The next part of this fly is I need to take my dubbing needle, if only I could find it. I need to take my dubbing needle. Where are you at? I'm just going to use a big hook. I have a big hook here that will definitely do the trick as well. And so I'm taking my, my fairly large hook and in the middle of the foam I'm making a hole because I want this foam to be turned over once again to produce the head of this fly. Without breaking it of course. Like that. And then I'm tying this down once again. And you can see now I have a small head on this fly. Taking all this CDC dubbing, holding it out to the sides, making a fairly loose turn of th tying thread all the way back here to where the wing starts like so taking this foam folding it backwards holding all my CDC hackle feathers down and tying it down here like that then I'm cutting off the foam, and the foam will keep this. Uh, the foam will keep this uh, wing uh, at exactly where it's where it's needed, making a whip finish. And there you have it, uh, a CDC caddisfly made exclusively from foam and CDC and this will this will float 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 and just keep floating if you really want this to be uh, very very exact you can of course do a lot of a lot of uh, stuff to this fly like uh, on the original pattern I saw a guy called Morden, a guy named Morden Öland make he, he pulled out a few uh, just two two separate uh, strands of, of I think it was uh, uh, raccoon or something like that to to imitate the, uh, the the hornets of this fly and also took a, a very very fine pencil and made two small dots for eyes but well in a, in a hurry, this will definitely do the trick. And uh, well, as, as you see, it's, it's fairly easy and you can apply this in any color you like. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a very, very good, very high floating imitation of, uh, of a caddisfly. Well, those were the words. Thank you for listening.